When I don't know where I kept an important paper and the search becomes useless, I ask myself, if I were me and I had an important paper to keep, where would I keep it? Sometimes it works, but I often feel so stressed with the phrase, if I were me, that the search for the paper becomes secondary. That's when I start to think. Better said, I start to feel, and I don't feel well. Try it. If you were really you, how would it be and what would you do? Right away you feel intimidated, don't you? What happens is that the lie in which we settled has just been slightly shaken from the place where it has settled. However, I've read biographies of people who suddenly became their true selves and completely changed their lives. I think that if I were me, my friends would not greet me on the street because even my appearance would have changed. How? I don't know. Half the things I would do if I were me, I can't tell them. I think that for some reason I would end up in jail. And if I were me, I would give everything I have and I would trust the future to the future. If I were me seems to represent our greatest danger of living, a new entrance into the unknown. However, I have the intuition that, after the first called moments of euphoria that it would be, we would have the experience of the world. We would fully experience the pain of the world, and our own pain, the one we learned not to feel. But we would also sometimes be overcome with an ecstasy of pure and legitimate joy that I can hardly guess. No. I believe I'm already experiencing it, because I felt myself smiling and I also felt a kind of modesty as the one we feel in front of what is too big. <laughs>